Hi guys, welcome to this short video about how to save footage from this Agfly auto security camera. This is not a bad camera, it is more like a professional surveillance camera and so it is a little bit co more complicated to handle than uh, like everyday normal IP camera but it has some specific features and it's pretty interesting if you want to build a professional surveillance camera system so how to get the footage if you have found something interesting on that I'm going now to the app the app which I'm using is the cam high this is recommended by the seller and so we have to connect it's usually pretty fast connecting no uh, spe specific login needed i mean of course yeah login is needed but it, it's pre-saved i mean you don't have to specify password and everything so uh, we go to video here we have the video footage we click on the camera and here we can see that uh, when there are normal recordings or if there are alarm or alert recordings here we have something in red you can see that alarm recording one thing i just wanted to let you know as well if you watch the time here when it stopped or here better here when it stopped always you have to uh, check the time before an alarm recording and you will see that uh, sometimes there is a time gap here not let's say if had it, uh, it had stopped recording at 8 12 15 and the alarm recording also started at uh, 8 12 15 so maximum uh, maybe 0.98 seconds in between of course you could miss something but usually it works pretty fast maybe it has also to do with the type of sd card which you are using i mean i'm using samsung shouldn't be a problem with that but sometimes i really have small gaps maybe one second maybe one and a half seconds so last time i really missed something and that was really bad i mean the most interesting moment i missed but i just wanted to let you know but it, it is actually not about this topic this is about footage which you are downloading and how you can do something let's say here we have an alarm recording we can either play download or cancel so we click on download we're downloading that to the local storage on this phone by the way i guess i'm on, on an android phone and when you click on continuing downloading you can download other footage but i want to go to see that means i am now on the download area and as you can see there is on the right side there is something you can click on that and you can watch it simply but there's nothing you can do i mean when you click on that that's just the footage so what you can do uh, you can click on not on the total right side on this arrow you have to click on this arrow and then it asks you if you want to convert the video and then it will be yeah it will be converted into a normal mp4 file which is then accessible with almost every program with the the mp4 i mean that's a standard file video file format and almost every program can deal with that before it is just a streaming file and no program can deal with that it's almost impossible to find any any program on the internet which can deal with that so even after normal downloading it's worth nothing so you really have to do that step which i show i'm showing you now i yeah with a previous recording i missed that and i lost the footage so it's a little bit bad so you really have to do this conversion now the conversion is done and you don't see here any kind of difference but what you will notice is that let's say we go to google photos and we go to settings let's go here to settings and we have the backup and sync and we can specify 
which folders are being backupped so here we have it and here you can see there's this thing it's called pppp dash and something that's probably the camera name probably we, if you are on your phone it will be probably very similar i mean there will be probably also 4p and then a dash and then some number which will be slightly different but you will find it so and here on google photos you can then activate it and all the footage will then be backed from now to google photos and you can share it and do what what you want so this is really important to convert it to mp4 before even google photos is not able to do anything with this footage so that's really an important step i had a long time to figure out how to do that and i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments or better solutions or whatsoever please leave anything in the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you liked the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time